We are going to take Nina through a training session. Right now, Nina's at the top of the stairs. I'm going to recall Nina. The reason why we do these drills is because it Nina, come. builds a stronger association with the recall when we're at different Good. height levels. Nina, it bed. makes it more challenging for the dog to understand what we're saying. Right here, I'm going to ask Nina to go to the bed. She's going to go come on. around to get to the bed. And I want Good. all her... Sit. All four of her Good. paws on the bed, and then I'm going to put her in a sit. So with this drill, we're working on impulse control, also the association with these words. Dogs are simple association animals. They associate the word with the object or the action. So when I give a Nina, command, come. I want to be associating it with something so the dog understands what that means. Right here, again, I'm strengthening the association, Good. going Sit. to the top of the stairs. I'm also building the impulse control. Good. you notice if Nina breaks command, no. like sit. she does here, I'm going to give the verbal Good. correction of no. And put her back into that sit. All of my commands are implied Come. stay, so that means that the dog has to stay until I tell them to do otherwise. Good. Nina, bed. Good. Sit. And put her back no. in bed. Sit. Good. Now I'm gonna bring Nina come her to her crate. Recalling her here. Good sit. Gonna Good. Put her to sit. When I open the crate, it does not mean that she no, needs to go sit. in the crate, so I'm gonna give a verbal correction of no and put her back into a sit. No, sit. Right there, I gave Good. her a correction. I'm gonna put her back into a sit. No, sit. Good. This is all impulse control training. I need her to Nina wait for my voice. And she's doing a great Good. job. Great job, Nina. 